Hello you guys. In today's video, I have a pattern review for you. I'm going to be reviewing McCall's 7970. It's this cute dress with several different views to choose from. I chose view C and I recently wore it to a meeting that I spoke at and oh my gosh, I got so many compliments. Then after the meeting, I went to the mall and more and more compliments. So the ladies are really loving this one. So in today's pattern review, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts about the pattern. I'm going to be sharing all of the details. I'll take you to the website to show you what they have to offer. It is available in print and PDF. So for those of you who don't have access to printed patterns, they do have it available on the website for PDF purchase. Now, if you are new to sewing, if you are a beginner, this pattern is beginner friendly. The company rates it as easy and I do agree. However, if you will be sewing views C or D, it is very time consuming because of all of the gathering and the different tiers that you'll be adding to the dress. And I'm going to be talking to you about that when we get into the pattern instructions. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we are on the somethingdelightful.com website, and this is McCall's 7970. And the description is loose fitting pullover dress in two lengths with an elasticized waist. So here is view A. Let's go down here. This is view A and it has the flounces on the bodice and on the skirt. B, uh, view B has the kimono sleeves. These both are shorter versions of the dress. And then views C and D have the multiple tiers. So view C has the option where you can use different fabrics for the tiers. You can color block. You can do the same thing on view D. View C is a sleeveless version. And then we have a slit on the left side. And then view D has the kimono sleeves with the slit. Now you can also add a belt if you want to any of the versions. Now let's take a look at them on the models. So here we have view D in a beautiful animal print. And this is actually what drew my attention. I, I love the long sleeves, although I sewed a sleeveless one, I think I'll be sew sewing it again with longer sleeves, but because it's warm right now, I wanted to do a shorter sleeve. I like the slit. And if you want, if you prefer a higher slit, you can absolutely raise the slit when you sew yours. But I, I like the, the height of the slit on that one. And then for view A, here we have the line drawing and you can see how beautiful that would be in either a solid fabric or a print. And then for view B, here you can see the flowiness of the sleeve. So this is meant for a lightweight fabric. And then here you have the model again. And then here's a picture of the front of the envelope. Let's take a look at the size chart. It's available in sizes six to 22. So you will get six through 14 in one envelope and then 14 to 22 in another envelope. Okay, so that's it. Now let's take a look at the pattern instruction sheet. So the pattern comes with 18 pattern pieces. And for those of you who are new to sewing, that may sound very intimidating, but if you have basic sewing skills, you can do this. And depending on which view you're sewing, that will determine how many pattern pieces you're gonna be using. So although there are a lot of pattern pieces, it's a simple project. It's just very time consuming because you have to put so many pieces together. So these pieces here are mostly the ruffles. So view, or pieces 12 through 17 are all rectangles. They are, the pieces that you're going to use to make the ruffles on the skirt. So just keep in mind that there are a lot of pieces, but they're straightforward. So to give you an example of the process that you'll be going through to create your ruffles, the first thing you're going to be doing is sewing in your gathering or your basting stitches for gathering. And then you're going to be hemming at the top. So this is what you're going to do for every ruffle. You're going to sew in your basting stitches. You're going to hem the top. Then you're going to attach that ruffle to the skirt or the bottom of the 
ruffle and then you're going to gather and sew that in and you're going to continue building until all of the pieces are put together for the front and the back. So like I said, it's a lot of work, it's time consuming, but it's, it, the instructions are straightforward. Okay, so let's take a look at the back of the pattern envelope for the fabric and notions suggestions. So their suggestions for fabric are crepe, cotton blends, Georgette, and stable knits. I used this beautiful rayon fabric that I picked up from LA Finch Fabrics and it is stunning. I love this fabric. It looks really good on this dress. It's a lightweight rayon and the drape is just perfect for this design. Now, when I purchased it, they had two other colorways available. I don't know what they have available on the site right now, but you can go over and check. I left a link in the description box below. And if they don't have this, they do have other beautiful rayon prints, or you can use a different, one of the other suggestions on the back of the, of the envelope. Make sure that you purchase your interfacing to match the weight of the fabric that you're using. And then for the notions, they are suggesting for all four views, quarter inch elastic, and that's for the waist. And then for views A and C, half inch single fold bias tape. And you're gonna use that to finish off the armhole opening because those two views are sleeveless. Or you can make your own bias tape. Now, if you will be sewing the dress, make sure you grab your sewing project checklist. It's a free PDF that I have created to help you gather everything that you're going to need before you start your project so that you can stay organized during the sewing process. This is what I do and it really helps to streamline the process whenever I'm sewing a new garment. If you don't know how to sew yet, then I have a new online sewing course for beginners called Learn to Sew, Mastering the Basics. It's where I walk you, the new beginner, the person who has never touched a sewing machine before, for through the entire process of learning how to sew your own garments. It is self-paced. You get 12 months from the time that you enroll to go through the course. If that is you, then click the link in the description box below this video so that you can enroll and get started on your journey into sewing. If you would like to see more pictures of the dress, including the inside, so that you can see what the tiers look like on the inside, how I finished off the seams, I've written a blog post and posted more pictures with close-ups so that you can see exactly what it looks like. I've left a link in the description box below to the blog post. So here is some footage of me wearing the dress out in public so that you can get an idea of what it looks like on the body, the flow, and the movement of the fabric. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.